everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today we're gonna go, uh, actually this is the first time I ever touched this type of sewing machine. This is a shoemaker machine, uh, made by console number 29. And I'm gonna go over this. It's a pretty much a cylinder bed uh, shoemaking uh, machine. And there is four different styles when it comes to this machine. Uh, console makes them original uh, from uh, Japan, uh, but right now they're all sewing machines pretty much are made in China. Some of these are obviously parts are made in Japan and during, uh, Japan makes the parts and bring them to China and they put them together. So the model number is 29. That's the regular one. A uh, regular one means a 12 inch arm with a small, tiny little bobbin that you could see it right here. I'm gonna take this tool, see how small it is. The bobbin has to be small because it has to, this is what we got with cylinder. And we wanna to go to narrow spots in shoes when we're making shoes. So boots, shoes, whatever it is. And it has to be really small. Now, there are, again, I said four style. One is 12 with a small bobbin. The other one is 18 inch with small bobbin. There is a 12 inch with big bobbin. And there is a 12, uh, 18 inch with the big bobbin. And the big bobbin is not very big. It's just the L uh, bobbin. Um, again, this is pretty much 12 inch from here. Exactly 12 inch. That's where the needle comes. You have this much room. Right at the edge, you have one inch. Um, the cylinder is one inch, the width. And the other way is one inch too. But when you get here, you start from one and a quarter all the way to, here it is. Um, one and five, eight, two inch. And at the end, end is uh, two, you know what, the, at the end is really Two, two inch, and that's how it is. If you're seeing this, that's what it is. Okay, the machine you could operate with the motor or without the motor. I mean, this is right now we have assembled the machine on the table with the uh, brushless motor, but you could really just buy the head and use this crank to just operate. And you could also have this one here too. Meaning you could sit in the front. Imagine I have this the other way, sitting in the front and working with it this way. So this would be toward you. And you just, that's how you do it when you want to do a crank without this. But the customer that you bought, see actually we have two orders going out today. One only head, this one, and one with table and motor and everything. This, this machine, is set up on a T-Lex with wheels. Again, brushless motor uh, and a 12 inch regular um, uh, machine. Uh, one more thing I wanted to tell you is that uh, this machine comes also with the uh, bobbin winder. Um, so even if you don't buy the motor and the table and legs for it, and you buy only the unit, only the head, you still get this one and you still get the thread stamp. So you could put the machine whenever you want. What comes inside the kit is a couple of uh, screwdriver, uh, a 135 by 17 needle size 19. So if you're watching me and you're watching this console model 29, the needle would be size 19, 135 by 17. Obviously you could do size 18, 17, you could go 20. Uh, you get see this tiny bobbin, you get like four of them, and there is a thread guide, extra thread guide, and this is the sample that comes under the um, sewing machine. Now, uh, you also get this tiny, tiny little book uh, on the sewing machine and tells you the different things regarding the sewing machine, and a part book right here. Uh, Okay, very popular sewing machine. You get, these are, um, I think these are gonna read, I think these are for threading 
the thread or changing or doing or cleaning something, I have no idea. Again, this is my first time doing this sewing machine. Um, we have a tiny little oil bottle and the oil goes, I'm sure you're gonna wash this one. You're gonna have oil going wherever there is red spot right here, a drop, drop of oil. Um, and that's all. So machine is threaded. If you uh, can show the threading is very special. Coming, the thread comes here, goes through here, through these things. Uh, as you could see here, uh, if you want, you could put this down and put silicone oil in here. This, uh, whatever you call this is a cup or a bowl, you could put oil, which is a silicone oil, and press it down. And whenever the thread goes through, it's gonna be easier to work with. Goes through the top of this thread guide inside the, all you see right here. And around, top and bottom, take a look and down, okay? And, all right, so, and you see, you could also use this one. Whenever you're sewing, now you wanna change, you wanna go down, you wanna go, imagine you're somewhere and you just wanna go, you could do it. Um, and the foot lifter is in the back. And I just got, because I didn't have any shoe and I, I like my shoe, I was gonna really w work on my shoe, but I said, you know what, I like my shoe, I'm not gonna do that. So anyway, so let me put this up. I'm gonna turn this, that's how it's gonna be. I'm gonna bring it down and we're gonna sew. See? Woo! You don't wanna go really fast, honestly. I mean, this machine is not made to go fast. But I brought in vinyl, I mean leather, because I know. See? I'm going to slow, fast. And look, this is the back stitch. This is the front stitch. You could easily, if you want to go here. Ooh, I don't want to go and then you want to go here. Turn. You know what I'm saying? The machine is not oiled. But that's how it is. Bobbin winder is right here. Uh, very simple type of bobbin winding. I'm using a uh, B69 um, nylon thread and it's a little bit hard to hold it, but there is a, if you see there's a notch right here that you put this through the notch and you hold it. And what you do is you pull this out so it will release the, um, the machine from working, you push this down, okay? And let me push it down all the way and you lock it. And when you do that, you could just use this and turn. And when you do that, this won't work. The machine is not going up and down. You know, right now went in there, but you could just hold it up and this turns and the bobbin turns without going. Now, I'm not adjusting it because I'm not ready to adjust this to the bobbin. But again, you have to take this, you have to put it in there, you have to tie it really good and put it through the notch. There's a notch here. And whoop, bada bing, bada boom, just turn this and you see this turns and turns the other one. Now, if you take this one out here and put it here, you easily take this one and put it here because the bobbin winder will go back here. The machine is operating from a 53 belt, again, on a waistband, I mean, on a uh, industrial uh, motor. I'm gonna try, like, I'm sure you guys are gonna be telling me why you're running this. We just, we love to do this for you guys. Um, and let me just, see that's how it's done. Um, 
the machine is not oil, so I don't want to really push it. But then I'm going to pull out, we're going to talk about underneath here how to change the water. That's the next thing. Okay. So, I'm going to. Put this back in there. Okay, now I'm gonna just put this up first. I'll put this up. Up, ah, right? Now, hope I could see what I'm doing. You press this thing down. You see that? There is a notch here that you press down and you turn this and you take the bobbin out. And this is the bobbin. Good job. Yeah, people tell me it's very, very tiny. I never experienced this. It is tiny. Let me see if I could use this one. So, um, I'm just gonna, okay. I just don't wanna take the whole thing out. This is pretty much the bobbin holder and or bobbin case, and it's gonna go from here. See, there's a notch in here, if you could, I don't know if you could show it everyone. There is a notch that you put the thread through the notch from here, goes in here, and you put it out from back here. That's how it's going to be. I'm gonna put more of this out, okay? See? And then this one sits right here, and you're gonna make sure this one goes with this one. Right? Right here. Easy, down. There is no other way. It would. And then you pull that thread out, you keep it here, and then you put this down, and you lock it. Done. Okay? Now the thread came out, and the reason the thread came out was because I was pulling it, you know. Um, now, what else did I want to talk about? Uh, 135 by 70 needle, the, there is no other option for feed dog. There is no foot. See, it's only a top feed dog, the bottom, there is nothing. Uh, there is no option for under feed dog, and this is it. I mean, if you want to show a little bit of the back, and that's all there is to it. Very, very, very popular sewing machine. Again, made by console 29, so there is 29 regular 12 inch, 29 L, which is 18 inch. There is a 29 uh, LB, which is 18 inch with large, and uh, 29 L with a small bobbin. Again, you do not have to buy the table or the legs or the more, you could just buy the head and operate it with, without anything else. With just the machine, this could sit here, and you could again, operating from the front. This is David from Gold Star Tool. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Bobbin Winder here, great sewing machine. Uh, you do not buy it assembled. I mean, this gentleman bought it, but I'm telling you it's very easy to assemble it. If you guys are at home, shoemaker, I mean, you know, it's very easy to put this machine together. Again, David from Gold Star Tool. This is console model 29. Thank you for watching.